Hello everybody, welcome to my shop. My name is Kevin. Today we're going to go through what I do when I get an order for pens. I have an order of pens that I got from Craft Supplies USA and these are the Artisan Click Style Pens. I have 10 of those. These are my directions. They come with the pin kits when you order them. And then I'm going to be using Bethlehem Olive Wood Stabilized Box Elder or Buckeye Burl, sorry. Flaming Box Elder Burl. And I have a piece of leopard wood and a piece of camphor burl. I'll mark these for the length of the pen tubes, go to my bandsaw, cut them to length, allowing for a little bit extra, and then I will go to my drill press and I will drill out as close to center as possible so I can match up the grain in each piece of wood so the pen will look nicer when it's turned. Okay, I think I'm going to show you guys roughly what I do. This is my bandsaw from Laguna Tools, which is, in my opinion, the 14 SUV, the best bandsaw on the market for a wood turner. It has a three horsepower motor, 125 inch blade, can hold a three quarter inch resaw blade. It cuts better than any bandsaw I've owned. I like it. It's got a break if you need to stop it. Just an overall really good saw. The only drawback is it does not come with a miter gauge. I wish it did. Other than that, it's a really awesome saw. All right, drop my... Blade guide down, make sure, yep, blades tightened, and I'm going to, I marked my pin tube on the wood to get the best piece of wood out of this, and this is my cherry burl blade. With the Artisan click it pin, both pin tubes are the same length, so my pieces are approximately the same length. Match up the end grain from the pieces of wood, like that, and I'll go over to the drill press and drill it out. Alright, what I'm going to do now is this pin kit calls O style drill bit. So put that in the chuck, give it a third of a turn, tighten it up there as well, turn on some light. Okay, this piece doesn't match up exactly the same. But it's the last, one of the last few pieces of this that I have that's cut up and ready to go and hopefully dry. So put that in the vise. Alright, we got just a little bit of wood on that, so hopefully that's what I need. You want to take some 220 grit sandpaper, take your tube. Right now it's got a clean finish on it, and that doesn't glue real well inside of the blank. So just take the 220, nothing fancy, just rough up the pin blank. I need some super glue. That one's not open yet. Take 
a medium viscosity CA glue put it on the tube don't have to go crazy but when you put it in the blank twist pull twist pull twist pull spread it out evenly over the pin blank and then take my expensive tool here to hold it make sure it's not coming out either end and then I like to take where the super glue CA glue is on the end of the blank tap it on a paper towel and then go to my next one I could use accelerator to speed up the process of making it dry but what I'm going to do is allow that to set for a little while all right everybody I'm back I used my trimmer I got the ends trimmed of my two pin blanks first bushing goes on like that and then my pin blank the center bushing my next pin blank and my other bushing and It'll work better if it's plugged in. Grab my roughing gouge. my roughing gouge is trying to get a general shape now what I'm going to do is take my wide parting tool and bring it down to the bushing <coughs> and I'm leaving it just a little bit proud sorry about that I don't know when my machine quit recording but I used my skew chisel to get a smooth finish on the cherry burl I brought it right down to the bushings and it's got a really good feel to it and it looks really good and once you press everything together that's what you end up with a really beautiful looking pen Thank you for watching.